happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to do another quick set for you all using this born pretty all-in-one nail tip and glue set and also the neon polishes that i unboxed um, in my previous video this packaging is so cute by the way i actually used that set to create this look it has been almost it's been about a week and a half later and you guys these nails are still holding up and going strong um these two fingers did pop off but the interesting thing about it is when they popped off um, the actual glue was still on my nail bed. It's just that the glue separated from the tip So that might have been like a user error with me not prepping the tip properly But yeah, the fact that these have lasted a week you guys I'm having absolutely no Lifting here on the nail, so I'm not really sure I'm gonna get these off But I'm thinking these last three nails I'm gonna have to soak off and then these two now I just put back on with some nail adhesive tabs so I wanted to do another quick set for you guys using this beautiful pink color and some stamping. I want to do like a neon cheetah print situation. So I do have my six in one nail glue along with the lamp that came from Born Pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my tips for you guys. Okay, so I do have my tips all sized out and ready to go. Um, I did already apply my favorite peel off base coat off camera and that's the uh, Moran peel off base coat here. And so now I'm going to show you guys really quick how to do the full cover tips you guys know this is my jam this is like my go-to I do have my lamp here and I have my tips all sized out I'm not going to actually etch the inside of my tips because I do plan to pop these off fairly soon so I'm going to go in with my six in one glue okay and I'm just going to apply some to the inside of the nail okay you guys have seen me do this a million times on my channel but really quick I just kind of go in where my nail bed would meet the tip and then whatever is remaining I just leave just swipe the rest of it off on the inside of the tip I make sure to turn the lamp on before I do any adhesion because I found that it's easier and then I'll just go in at the cuticle here okay and then slowly press down until the glue is fully over the entire nail like so go under the lamp and cure and I normally cure for about 10 15 seconds and it's just a flash cure just to get the nail in place okay so you see that's all good now typically the, um, the application process only takes me about five minutes to do so I'm gonna go ahead and apply all the tips for you guys really quick Now that all the tips have been applied, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full cure in my big lamp. My nails have been file shaped and buffed. Now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful pink color from Born Pretty. This is the color BPMC04. Okay, and I'm actually gonna apply that to all the nails. Again, you guys, I really enjoy working with these Born Pretty polishes. They're really nice and opaque and they have a really good color payoff. So yeah, Look at the color payoff. And I really like the fact that this nail tip kit is like really lasting, you know? Like I said, this hand that I have on, like my right hand, it's literally been on for almost two weeks. It's been about a week and a half. I'm like a few days away from two weeks. And I'm just like, wow, this stuff is like holding up really good, you know? So it's definitely in one of my top three favorite nail tip kits for sure, you know? So if you all haven't tried one of these types of kits, I would recommend this one. It did also come with like a lot of different types of tips. I was I was thinking about doing a different um, type of tip with this look, but um, I ended up just opting for my, my good old fashioned, my oldie but goodie um, full cover coffin tips. I really enjoy working with those tips, so I just used that from the kit. Um, but yeah, y'all, this stuff applies beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of this 
and I will be right back. So this is what one coat of coverage looks like, you guys. This stuff is really opaque. It really is one coat coverage, but I typically like to go in with two coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my second coat. This is what the second coat looks like and with a top coat applied. Now I'm gonna go in with my nail art. I am gonna do some stamping today. Um, I do have a stamping polish actually from Born Pretty. I'm gonna be using it, it's in the color Throne. And then I have my stamping plate here. I wanna do some cheetah print, like some neon colored cheetah print nails. And so um, I wanna go in with this image right here. I'm gonna try not to glare you guys here, but So this cheetah image right here, I want to go in with that on the middle finger and it's possible I might use no, this one right here as well, but I'm not sure. But for sure I'm going to go in with this one on the middle finger. So what I'm going to do is set my plate down here. Now with stamping you guys, you really just need like a thin layer of, if you have an actual stamping polish, you really just need a thin layer over top of it. Um, just enough to get the image saturated like so. Okay. And then after that, you will want to do a quick scrape down with your scraper. So go one swipe down really quick. And then with your jelly stamper, you will roll it over the image and pick it up like so. And you see that is a clean pickup. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with my lint roller and remove anything that I don't want to transfer onto the nail. Now, because this is a long stamp, I am going to take it out so I can actually see where I'm placing the image. And so from here, I'm going to go in and just place the image down on the nail. I think I want it to be here. And so I place it down and it's a nice clean transfer, you see? And then I'm going to just go ahead and press down any other parts that's kind of sticking up. And that transferred beautifully. And so I kind of want the cheetah to kind of go up the nail a little bit. And so I'm going to go in with this same image here. And so to clean your plate, you also need acetone, okay? Just a little bit of acetone here and clean my plate off okay and then for the part that i want to go up the nail i really just want the top half of this image so that's where i'm going to lay the polish at okay and again you just want to saturate it just enough to cover the entire image and then one quick swipe down actually i think there's a smear on this one let's see oh no still a clean pickup okay so you guys see that's a clean pickup okay and then this image is what I'm gonna try to put on the top part of the nail, okay? So like so, okay. I kinda want it to be kinda going up the nail like this. What do I want it? Maybe like this, Maybe like this. Yeah, that looks good to me, All right? So that's gonna be the design I have on this nail here. And then I think on this nail, I'm just gonna have just the cheetah print so, and I think on my ring finger here, I'm just gonna have that cheetah print going um, kind of around the, the nail like that. And then that's gonna be my design, you guys. It's gonna be really quick, really cute, and really simple. So then I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off really quick. And then again, I'm gonna pick up that same image. You wanna apply a nice thin layer just to saturate it. Do a quick swipe down. And then pick it up with your stamper, like so. Clean pickup. Okay. And then I really need to get a stamper that has like a shorter barrel so I can see what I'm doing without having to take it out. But I'm going to essentially just go ahead and place it on the nail like this. You all can see the image is transferring. Okay. And it's on. Oh, I kind of messed that one up a little bit because I was trying to get in frame, but you guys get the point here. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go and do that over because I smeared it. So if you all have an image on the nail that you've stamped and you don't like where it's placed at or how it looks, what you can do is um, just take some acetone on the brush and just kind of go over the image to clean it off. And then I typically have a wipe that has alcohol on it and then I'll go through and remove the rest of the image off. So again, I'm gonna repeat that. 
for the image that you don't want you just go in with some acetone and rub it off of the nail okay and then I have an alcohol wipe here and then I just take the rest of it off and now you have a clean slate again okay so I'm gonna transfer the image one more time because it didn't transfer the way that I wanted it to okay saturate the plate just enough take the scraper one quick swipe down okay and then from there Got a clean pickup here. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer that onto the nail. Okay, and that's a nice clean transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one more time, just kind of going up the nail. So that's what my stamped image is looking like. Now I want to go in with this blue color from the kit and um, it's BPMC05. Okay. What I want to do is just fill in the cheetah print with a little bit of this. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the blue and just put it on my mixing plate here. Okay. And then I'm going to take the small end of my dotting tool. Okay, and then I just want to go in and fill in the cheetah print with this beautiful blue color here. So, as you can see, I'm just going to go where the open spaces are in the cheetah print or leopard print and fill it in. You see? And I'm going to go through and do that for all of it, the whole image. So I like how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Now that that's been cured, I'm going to repeat that same thing on my ring finger. So I like how that looks. I'm gonna cure that. This is how it's looking so far. I'm really liking how this cheetah print or leopard print situation turned out. That's really cute. So now I think what I wanna do is go in at the cuticle area. I do have some of these blue rhinestones here and I'm thinking I can put them at the cuticle on all the other fingers. So on my, my index, my pinky and my thumbnail. And y'all, this whole video, I like completely forgot about my Nelfie diamond. I recently got a Nelvi diamond and I just forgot to use it. So I'm gonna pull it out right about now so that it can get some TLC, okay? Okay, so I am going to use the nail glue because it's six in one to apply the rhinestones. The six in one means that it can be used in six different ways and one of the ways is as rhinestone placement. So I'm going to just have my timing right here. This mug is so pretty, okay? And then that's what I'm going to rest my hand on. Yeah, this would have made my life so much easier earlier, but that's okay. So I'm going to go in with my index finger here. I hope there's not too much of a glare. We'll see if it ends up being too much of a glare. Let's do it like this. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of the nail glue right at the cuticle area. Okay. Like so. I don't need a lot, just a little. And then I have my rhinestone picker here. I'm just gonna pick some up and place it at the cuticle. Like so. Now once I get it where I want it, which 
This looks good to me. I'm gonna take the mini LED lamp here and I'm gonna flash carry it into place, okay? And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the pinky. Although these, I guess I didn't think this all the way through. These rhinestones are kind of big for my pinky. So maybe on this finger, I'll do one in the center. It's gonna have to work. I'm liking how that's looking. So now I'm gonna go in with the top coat on all of the nails. Then I'm gonna do my then I'm gonna do my thumb off camera, apply some cuticle oil, and we'll be back with the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I'm loving how she turned out. She is giving Lisa Frank vibes, okay? Y'all remember Lisa Frank? <laughs> I feel like the color selection and the color choice is giving me Lisa Frank vibes and I'm absolutely here for it because the nostalgia does it for me, okay? So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this look. Yeah, these are the two practice nails that I did for this set before I went in with the stamping and I really liked how they look so I went with that. But I might end up doing this on like another nail at some point, on another set at some point because I really like how that looks. She's cute, she's simple. And I am really enjoying stamping these days. Y'all see how my little cheetah slash leopard turned out? Like stamping is a it's a it's a good hack because I tell you right now, it makes it look like I drew that myself when in fact I did not. Okay, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this set. Um, I'm really enjoying using the Born Pretty products, um, especially this six-in-one nail glue. And yeah, these are the colors that I used and I had a lot of fun using these products today. Again, on this hand over here, I did apply this set about a week and a half ago and it's holding up really well. So I would say that I highly recommend this kit. I think this, um, I think the lamp with the glue and the tips, it's a steal. I do have a discount code with Born Pretty as well. It is Rose318. So if you all end up shopping on Born Pretty's website, you can use that discount code to save you 10% off. And then also Born Pretty is available on Amazon. So I am gonna leave um, the Amazon links to everything that I use down in the description box. So the nail tip kit, the um, neon, gel polish set as well as the stamping polish um, because this stamping polish actually works really good. So I actually highly recommend that for those of you who are trying to get into stamping. I'll leave a set that I found on Amazon um, down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Manny and have you guys tried stamping before? Because I'm obsessed with it, okay? I do have a full tutorial on this set as well. So I will go ahead and leave that link down in the description box in case you all wanna see how I got this look. It was done using the same Warm Pretty products, the same Warm Pretty nail tip kit and gel polish set. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!